Got a great viewer question today on something I've been meaning to do for a long time now. Today, we're talking about three match. We're going to look at the concept. We're going to look at how it plays versus two by two and three by one. We're going to check out college game film. We're going to talk about the nuance, and we're just going to dive in. Coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. I have been meaning to do a video on three match for a while now. I know I use it all the time when I'm talking about my game breakdown, my film breakdown, because a ton of college teams are playing it. It's great coverage for defense. Today, I got a viewer question from Nick1427. And Nick said, hey coach, love the videos. They're awesome, helping me a ton. But what is three match? You talk about it all the time, and I'm not sure what it is. That's a great point, Nick. As a coach, one of the things that you have to do is understand where your audience is at so you can explain it. And so today, I apologize that I haven't done that yet because I do talk about three match all the time. We're going to break down three match. Before I get to it, if you're new to the channel, if you love X's and O's football content, make sure that you subscribe and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new stuff coming out. Give me a thumbs up, hit that like button down below if you want to know what three matches or if you're looking forward to seeing some college film. And leave me a comment, just like Nick. Give me a good comment, and I'll make you a video. So, very simply, three match is a concept, as legend has it, that Nick Saban came up with when he was working in the NFL because they lost three games to Pittsburgh. And so he's trying to figure out a way that he could bring spin to a single high safety and have better run support to stop the running game for Pittsburgh and not get torched by verticals up the field. And so originally, three match was pattern match in terms of defense. So three pattern match. And what they're trying to do is essentially take out those vertical routes by the twos in two by two and by, the, by number two and three in a three by one. So that way you can stop the vertical game but still support the run with those players down low in the box. Since that time, a lot of college teams have spun different variations of three match off, and they've changed the coverage. When run properly on vertical routes, it looks like cover one. And when you're watching film, sometimes you'll say, that's cover one, it's cover three, you can't tell the difference. Well, that's probably three match. And so let's dive into the film. I'll take a look at a diagram first. I'll show you what three match is all about. And then we'll hit the college game film, and we'll talk about the nuance of it. And I'll show you a little different in the diagram what some college teams have done to change it up and actually bring some pressure with it. Two by two, three match, great diagram here from Pat's Pulpit, and I will put a link down below so you can check it out. They got a great article on three match. But these guys are deep thirds player by nature of the call. So standard cover three rules in terms of that. Now, if their player goes vertical, they become man players. And that's normal for cover three. When a guy comes into your zone, you would be on top of him. Any zone converts to man eventually with the guy in your zone. So they get vertical, converts to zone. The difference in three match is that the hook flat players, strong safety in this case and nickel in this case, rather than just buzzing to a zone right now, if their player releases vertically, they're going to lock onto that match that pattern, and run with the vertical route. They lock in, run vertical. They do it on an outside hip, so they're looking into the ball. It does two things for you. A, it forces that route closer to the safety so that the safety has a shorter length of field to cover in the middle of the field. That's number one. Number two, it makes it so they can play the ball looking outside in so they're looking at the quarterback playing it like a receiver so it's a great scheme to stop four verticals as i said the concept was so that you get the extra box player down low now you have a seven man box and you can defend the run better but teams were killing single high safety with four verticals in this case when you run with the verticals a quarterback has to make a perfect throw now if these players don't go vertical Inside of five yards was the original rule. Then the safety will then just buzz the flat. If this player runs a shallow, this nickel defender will then be your flat buzz defender, and you're good to go. Just play straight cover three. If both these guys go vertical, and by the way, 
if these guys do go flat, they make an under call, or if these outside receivers go flat, they make an under call, in which case buzz defender has to take it and corner will play those verticals over the top. But if everybody goes verticals, like you see in this route, now the backer to the side of the release, if the back releases to the right, that backer has to cover him man. If the back were to cross key, release to the left, this backer would have to flow with him in man. The remaining backer becomes that hook defender in the middle of the field. But since everything's vertical and you have a back releasing to the flat, backer out, you've got one hook defender looking for anything coming back across the middle. That's two by two, three match. So now here's three by one. How did a lot of teams try to cover this originally? You can see down here, Mabel Mann, and again, this is from Pat's pulpit, link down below. But what they initially did is they would match the single side corner. So he is playing man straight away. They would have the backer take any number two to that boundary side man to man. So he's locked in. The free safety would play over the top for that vertical zone. And then they had the linebacker, Mike Linebacker, take any vertical threat coming through, and he would run with them. He would replace that safety that we saw in the last image as the guy that ran through, just like they would in two Tampa. If number three gets, or excuse me, number two gets vertical, now the buzz defender will carry that through, and the free safety will help over the top. You keep your nickel defender as your flat defender, just in case you get some kind of out or curl or hook from number one, and your backside corner is playing deep third, and once this route declares vertical, he locks on man. Again, just like two by two, if these routes break underneath right now, you'll get an under call from one of these defenders, and the backer looks to pick that up. Since you don't have this vertical threat through anymore now, free safety has to play over the top on the single vertical threat. So that was the way originally that they came up with a three by one version of three match. Now I'm going to show you on film in just a second, a different look and teams have now started bringing pressure with three as well. But first let's look at two by two. We got Cal versus Arizona and I'll show you a good look. that looks like cover one at first blush. You look at this and it looks like two man it looks like he's locked on man here. He's man here. He's man here. He's man here. If you're thinking about this as a quarterback, this is a linebacker against a fleet-footed receiver here. That's my mismatch. But what Cal's going to do is spin this safety down, and this backer is going to rush. While they do that, these backers are going to drop out and play hook zone inside, and he's looking for first thing coming out to his side here. Now, this is going to look like cover one to you as we get into it. And I'll run it through one time so you can see what I'm talking about. You run it. Looks like cover one. But I know for an absolute fact that the huddle call on this is cover three. So, remember, we looked at it on the diagram. Cal's only rushing four in this case. They're bringing one, two, three, four. Dropping out two. As this receiver goes vertical, gets past that 8-yard mark, I think originally it was 5 yards, he gets jumped by the buzz player. Buzz defender is buzzing that hook to flat area. On the outside, as this receiver gets vertical, you'll see DB stays on the outside and locks onto him in man. Outside receivers are covered up in man with outside releases. And the back stays in to block. Arizona is running a half-man slide, so you're going to get one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-two, and these three guys are left to take care of this. So they end up wasting a blocker and having to spend the back on the backside to pick up this linebacker pressure. Take a look at it one time in slow-mo. Backer comes. Strong side backers drop out. And you can see right here, it looks like man because he got vertical. Man on the outside hip. And you see the outside leverage here. These guys are locked in 
because their receivers are outside and heading vertical, and free safety trying to play it all over the top. Two hook defenders inside, and you've got three match. And just for a quick how to read it as a quarterback note, when I see this linebacker coming, A, I know I'm protected because these guys drop out, but B, I think as a quarterback, work to the side where I'm replacing that rusher. High defender here, these guys both pressed. Arizona has double curls on. There's your answer. Run it through, take a look. You can see if you hit that curl on time, you're in good shape. Khalil Tate makes an amazing throw into coverage and a great catch. So that's three match in two by two. Now let's take a look at three match in three by one and how some college teams are putting pressure underneath that three match now. And it's one of the variations that have come from college coaches playing with this system. So once again, this is cover three. I know this for a fact. And it looks like cover two pre-snap. If you're a quarterback, you're looking at this, you're thinking, got to be cover two. But Cal was absolutely killing Washington State with double A-gap blitz using just a cross dog. Double A, bring A gap here, boom, in the A, and then a follow A gap here. And it was wearing Washington State out. What they were doing behind it is they were playing three match. And so you got man on man here. If, remember the rules, they release vertical, you get man on man there. Now, if they don't release vertical, say this guy comes shallow, this corner just drops into cover three, his deep third. The safety is playing deep third in the middle, like we talked about. And since both of these backers are now on pressure, they're going to rob down with the backside safety. If number three releases vertically, he's now going to carry him in that match zone. As number two, if he were to get vertical, now they have the safety over the top to cover that as well. So this is three match. It looks like cover two, but Cal's doing it and bringing pressure with it. You can see backers come on the pressure. They play three. You can see it rotate to three. Real slowly here. You see safety rotates down. He's looking for number three. When number three blocks out, now he becomes a support de defender in that robber area. Washington State running that quick screen, RPO screen to the outside. Fake give here. Pop it out to the receiver. Corner's playing zone now because he doesn't, he doesn't get any vertical threat, but he reads it and comes up and makes a play. QB gets it out. Corner's there to make a play. And that is the anatomy of three match. So you can see how you can make three match look like cover two to start and how you can spin it different ways to create problems for a quarterback in their reads. It's a very effective coverage if you get it right on defense. As a quarterback, you need to understand it when you're seeing it and what the different roles are. Really important for all the coverages, and we've got a ton of coverages. I'll put cards up here that you can check out. And you can always go check out the rest of the site for our coverage breakdowns. We got zero, we got one, we got six, we got four, we got them all. So come check out the coverages. Glad I could get three match. Nick, I hope that answered your question today. Hope you guys like that at home. If you did, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up, hit the like button down below, and leave me a comment. Just like Nick, if you got a great comment, I'm happy to make you a video. Appreciate you watching. Just want to talk about cover three match, improve your football skills, give you a little quarterback training and hopefully improve your game. <laughs>